Hello everyone, so in this video we will cover a step-by-step -step guide and demo on Microsoft Entra Internet Access. So Microsoft have introduced the Microsoft Entra Security Service Edge. So this is in public preview right now and it provides Microsoft Entra Internet Access and Microsoft Entra Private Access. The Global Secure Access Client is installed on the end device and this is an agent that we can monitor and route traffic um, over the Microsoft backbone and it applies controls for internet and private access. If you missed my previous videos on Microsoft Entra Security Service Edge given an overview and private access step-by-step -step guide and demo, the links are in the description so check them out. So in this video we cover Entra Internet Access. Um, so that protects access to any private cloud, app or SaaS. So the internet traffic can be managed through traffic profiles and it protects against malicious and unsafe internet traffic where you can block access for users or non-compliant devices using conditional access policies. And we can also apply these policies at the network level. So basically with Entra Internet Access, we can secure access to all internet, SaaS and Microsoft 365 apps. As always, please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications from the Cloud Inspired channel. Thank you. So let's get started and give a step-by-step -step guide and demo on Microsoft Entra Internet Access. Okay, first off, we are going to sign into our tenant at entra.microsoft.com and we're gonna activate Global Secure Access. So under Global Secure Access Preview on the left, uh, click Activate. The preview requires uh, an Entra P1 license and an E3 license is also recommended for M365 traffic forwarding profile. The license prerequisites is discussed later on in the video. So, okay, let's click get started and we can see two options. Um, so for this demo, we can view the documentation for Entra Internet Access. So let's now download the Global Secure Access Client. So on the left hand side menu, under Devices, click Clients and Download Client. The supported OS in preview at the moment is Windows 10 or 11, and it needs to be either Azure AD joined or hybrid AD joined. On a Windows 10 device, we can check this uh, using PowerShell. So we run DS reg cmd space forward slash status, and we can see that our device is Azure AD joined, so we're all good. So let's install the global secure access client that we downloaded earlier. Let's sign in and then connect. And then we can open the Diags to confirm the client connection to Microsoft 365. So some prerequisites on admins who interact with GSA preview. Um, need the global secure access admin um, and conditional access admin or security admin to in interact with the conditional access policies in the next section. Also preview requires a Microsoft Entra P1 license and an E3 license is recommended for Microsoft 365 traffic forwarding profiles. So when the client's connected, we can see we don't have access to Office 365 until we enable the traffic forwarding profile. So let's go connect and traffic forward profile in the Entra portal. And we can view the policies and rules that we are going to assign for the Microsoft 365 profile. We can choose to forward or bypass, but we would leave this as default. OK, let's now enable the traffic forward profile. So that's now enabled, but we have no conditional access policies assigned. So we will need some in the next section. 
um, and we will create some and, and see how these work. Uh, before we do this though, it's important that global secure access signaling for conditional access is enabled. So let's do that now. Under global settings, go to session management, adaptive access. So global secure access introduces the concept of a compliant network within conditional access and continuous access evaluation. So this compliant network, it checks to ensure that users connect from a, a verified network connectivity model for their specific tenant and are compliant with security policies enforced by administrators. This allows admins to secure resources behind a compliant network um, with advanced conditional access controls. And this compliant network, it makes it easier for, for admins to manage and maintain without having to maintain a list of all uh, an organization's locations, um, IP addresses. So it allows the use of turning on all compliant network locations in the conditional access policy. So under protection and conditional access on the left, we have created a, a new CA policy. So we'll give it a name and we will apply it to our cloud admin user. And please remember that conditional access policies are, are, are very powerful tools. So it's recommended to exclude emergency access or break glass accounts here to prevent any tenant wide account lockout when creating CA policies. So for the target resource, we can see on the dropdown, we have a new global secure access preview uh, to choose um, where the policy is applied. This gives us Microsoft 365 traffic for now, as this is in preview. So we will grant access and require MFA here and then enable the policy. So once that policy is enabled, we can see that when we go back to our Windows 10 device, and we pause the GSA client, we still have access to Office 365 um, when the GSA client isn't connected. So in the next section, let's lock this down so we only have access to Office 365 when connected to the GSA client only. So in the last section, we created a CA policy to allow Microsoft 365 traffic from the GSA client. So when not connected to the client, um, we can still get access to Microsoft 365 apps, etc. If you wanted to allow access to Office 365 when connected to the GSA client only and block when not connected, we don't have that ability at this point based on the target GSA in preview, uh, targeting Microsoft 365 traffic as locations are grayed out. So we can block access to Office 365 by adding in another policy and we will do similar as well with, with SharePoint. Targeting the app and blocking everything, excluding our trusted all compliant network locations of the GSA client. So let's do this now and create a, a new conditional access policy and we will use um, this one to target SharePoint. So select the user this applies to, which in this case for our demo is cloud admin. Again, it's recommended to exclude emergency access or break glass accounts here to prevent any tenant wide access lockout when creating CA policies. So under target resources, we can target the app. So we choose SharePoint and then under, under conditions and locations, we click yes to configure um, and we choose any location, but we exclude all compliant network locations then we will block under access controls. So in summary, this policy will block any access over the internet to SharePoint when not connected using the GSA client, but it will exclude all compliant network locations of the GSA client, therefore allowing access to SharePoint only when connected to the GSA client. Let's turn the policy on and create. So let's now test this from our Windows 10 client. So the GSA client is disconnected. Then we attempt to log into Office 365, which is successful. And then we try to launch SharePoint. And SharePoint is blocked at this point by the 
uh, CA policy because we are not connected via the GSA client. However, we can open other apps like Outlook, etc., because we're only targeting SharePoint at this point. So let's now create one for Office 365 to block access. We're not connected via the GSA client. So when we test this, when the client is paused and not connected, we get access to NIDE or Office 365. And when the client is connected um, and resumed, we get access to Office 365. So that's an example with intra internet access and conditional access policies, we have secured access to Office 365. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications from the Cloud Inspired channel. All the best and take care. See you soon. Bye.